Welcome to On Fire Breakers. It's been a while. It has been a while. I hit the wrong audio, so. Didn't have any audio there at the beginning. Welcome to On Fire Breakers. This is break 2, 202170. 20, it is uh, mismarked. Tired. Overnight, we had a four semi pile up three basically the other one just ran off the road so I am a little out of it and I'm a little bit off my game so I'm glad we got this filled so I can be ready for series one release day tomorrow I've got a couple of jumbo cases filled Doug's got one jumbo case filled I'm not sure if he's going to try to fill another one or not um, so a big release day tomorrow on the flagship of top series one uh, but here we are with a five-box break of 2020-2021 NBA Hoops. Uh, appreciate the fill. Uh, we don't do much basketball as of yet. Um, some new players that... Uh, um, some new players that haven't been here, so that's nice to see. Uh, let's go over the team. We've got the Bucks with Josh Tallis, the Bulls, Jason Bro, Cavs, Danny Walker, Celtics, Tom Spellman, Clippers, Michael Spear, Grizzlies, Josh Tallis, Hawks, Chad Collier, Heat, Jake McDonough, Hornets, one on the big filler by Kevin Mara, Jazz, Kevin Herb, Kings, Jason Perovich, Knicks, Rome, Lakers, Eric Weinberg, Magic, Chad Collier, Mavs, Eric Weinberg, Nets, Jeremy Hughes, Nuggets, Justin Wood, Pacers, Brad Wright, Pelicans, Adam Breyer, Pistons, Clinton Ward, Raptors, Matt Medor, Rockets, Brad Wright, Sixers, Chris Sathopoulos, Spurs, Raul Perez, Suns, Nick Garola, Thunder, Cole Garland, T-Wolves, Chris Sathopoulos, Trailblazers, Josh Tullis, Warriors, Eric Weinberg, and Wizards with William Watt. And as you may or may not know, I'm not uh, a huge basketball fan. I am a Jazz fan only because Jerry Sloan was from Southern Illinois. So um, my family, um, my dad's older siblings, um, grew up with him down in McLeansboro, um, which is about 30 minutes from Grayville. So uh, always a Jazz fan. Um, I do not watch the NBA all that much, but I will get through this as great as possible. All right, as great as possible. I have been looking. I didn't even know half of the uh, the draft picks. I knew LaMelo Ball, um, that is for sure, but uh, had to do a little bit of studying for the price list and uh, a little bit of studying here, so if it takes me a little bit to get through it, uh, that's my excuse. So I don't watch the NBA um, very often. The Jazz are not on all that much. Um, and when they are on, it's normally late. And either I'm in bed or I'm up here. So we're going to get started. You get two autographs per box. Two autos per box. Um, hopefully this is a good sign as far as being able to do some more basketball here in the near future. I know the price of basketball is through the roof. Um, you look at this five box break of uh, hoops, which is uh, one of the the more generic products of of the the release schedule on the basketball market. Um, it is through the roof. So hopefully we can have a couple of uh, big boxes here, big autos, and see what we can hit. These will ship out tomorrow, barring any emergency. Uh, like I said, we were out last night. Um, at 2 a.m. and I got to go home at 6 from the wreck or got home at 6 from the wreck um, they were still out there about 11 to noon um, cleaning it up we were just they were done with the fire department uh, we, our services were no longer needed we are supposed to get another round of some snow uh, we got freezing rain that's heading to the south of us so that's uh, good that it's not going to impact this area um, but uh, hopefully it doesn't get too bad south of us. Uh, yeah, when Jordan shoved off on Byron Russell. Yes, that's that when the Jazz was good. Yeah. That was a shove off all day. All day. 
I was just a youngster back then. I've probably told this story, you know, granted being from Grayville, the closest NBA team is Indianapolis, and um, I went to one game, it was the Jazz and, and Pacers, uh, it was the year that Jerry Sloan retired, um, like two weeks prior to the Jazz and Pacers game, so that was uh, a fun time, fun experience, um, but I would rather watch hockey uh, any day of the week. I'd rather watch hockey any day of the week. Here we go. Let's get started. The NBA. There is the Greek Freak. We got Terrence Davis going to be out of 99 going out to the Raptors. Terrence Davis out of 99 for the Raptors. The Raptors. Oh, this thing is just click, click, clicking. Raptors. Matt Medor. Well, there you go, Matt. Jaden McDaniels, T-Wolves. Uh, he was the rookie, uh, rookie. Vernon Carey Jr. We'll sleeve up the rookies. Uh, these The top five will... Top five, top ten, we will get them now. So... Now playing Jaden McDaniels. And this is why I don't like half of the NBA, because I cannot pronounce their names. Saban Lee. I struggle with hockey. That's why I make Brandon do the hockey, too. Make Brandon do the hockey, because I can't pronounce half the names. Luka Doncic. Joker, the Joker. Jalen Smith. And Denny... Yep, no chance on that last name. No chance. Ricky Rubio used to be a jazz player. And Jalen Smith for the Phoenix Suns. He was the 10th overall draft pick. For the Suns, Isaiah Stewart, Jordan, Nora. He was a Louisville. know him from Louisville. Pascal Sikam on the high voltage. Cool looking card on the insert. Let me get this stupid thing off of here. There we go. Yes, live hockey is better, in my opinion, than any sport. I've seen them all. Any sport. I would rather go to a hockey game. Playoff hockey game. Hey, Malik Beasley. There's our first Lamello ball. Let's get that top loaded. Do all the Lamellos and uh, Wiseman and Anthony Edwards. Azabuki. From Kansas, Kansas having a rough year in college basketball. North Carolina having a rough year. Duke, Kentucky, Xavier Tillman, and Robert Woodard the second. Oh yeah, we went. I went to um, playoffs last year. Not last year, two years ago when the Blues were uh, playing the Winnipeg Jets. Um, when the Blues went in route for their Stanley Cup, and it was okay. Winnipeg basically dominated the whole game, so the, the crowd was taken out early. Um, but we had pretty good seats. Uh, then, then my brother and I, we went to the Blackhawks and Blues Game 5. I forget what year it was. So, uh, went into double overtime, and uh, Patrick Kane scored. It was game five, and I believe the Blues actually ended up winning that series. But uh, nothing like playoff hockey.
the Blues in route to their playoff or the Stanley Cup, they had a lot of good series. The Dallas series was awesome. Patrick Williams, he was the fourth overall draft pick. Um, they had that was an intense series. Even watching it at home, very intense. And for our first hit, Malachi Flynn going out to the Toronto Raptors and Matt Bedore. Malachi Flynn for the Raptors. And Matt Bedore, non-numbered. We'll put it up there. We don't do that much basketball, so we might as well put it up there. Only a five-box break. We don't have anything going on. Skylar Mays on the rookie. We don't have anything going on, anything pressing, so we can take our sweet time. It may be boring. We got next, Manuel Quickly for the Mets. Ramsey from Texas Tech. Jimmy Butler backstage pass. Tyrese Maxey and Desmond Bain. And the Blues last year in the uh, the bubble, they just didn't do anything in the playoffs and. Now they're playing seven straight games against the Phoenix Coyotes, and the Coyotes are getting the better, the better of them right now. Oh, look at that. Carl Malone. A nice tribute. Carl Malone. Throwback to what? 89? Is that the 89? 90? Maybe the 90. And our next auto going to be DeAndre Hunter. Going out to the Atlanta Hawks. The Hawks. Taken by Chad Collier. Chad Collier, I believe it's his first hit here at On Firebreakers. If you're into baseball or football, we do that a lot better. Brandon does football. Doug and I share the baseball. We do the baseball a lot better. But uh, Jameson Wiseman or... I've tried to get Brandon to step it up on the basketball, which I know the pricing is messed up, but it's here to stay for a little bit, so we might as well get used to it and see what we can't do and see what we can't pull out of basketball. We got Dwayne Wade on the zero gravity. Yeah, no kidding. I know. They blew it last night. Uh, Phoenix scored, oh, what, like .5 seconds left. Hey, legend of the game, Jamal Murray out of 9.99. They scored like with .5 seconds left, and it's like, great. And then didn't score in the overtime, got beat in the shootout. That's how it goes. That's how it's been going. We got next, Lamelo Ball. But, uh, yeah, just got out of quarantine today. I went off at midnight, I guess, because technically it uh, was over on the 9th. Then at 2 a.m. we get called out, so it's nothing. didn't miss hardly any action. Missed a lot of action up here. Doug pulling some heat. Um, Doug stepped up big time after 
finding out my wife tested positive and then uh, I tested positive, the kids tested positive, but we had uh, very minimal symptoms. All I had was loss of taste and smell, so can't complain from that end. Uh, one of our children uh, had um, fever of 102 for about 24 hours, and then after that, he was bouncing off the walls and fine, and our daughter lost taste, and that's about it. Wife was weak, but Doug did. Doug took took up or stepped up and took care of it. That is for sure. I texted him that night when I found out. I'm like, hey, we've got a situation, and it was like a second. He was calling me. He's like, what? I was like, well. Ashley just tested positive. When did you find out? And this was at like 5.30. I think it was 5.32 because I remember saying that that number. I was like, okay. And I didn't know. I mean, we didn't have any baseball today. We could have, but I wanted to pre-fill the, the Series 1, which was... And audible from what Doug and I had talked about, because the original plan was just to do one case each so we could make sure that we get it out. And I was like, well, let's see how many we can bust. Knowing that he was going to start early, so he can start at noon, get his done, and I'll be able to start whatever time. So, when he gets done, I don't know how long it'll take him. Probably a couple hours. Depending on how fast he goes through them. But yeah, my um, my father tested positive, which I believe is where we contracted it. Um, we weren't necessarily around him all that much prior to him testing positive, and then after he tested, you know, naturally after he tested positive. But we weren't really around him that much. But that's the only the only thing I can think of, and he everything went fine with him and. My younger brother, he tested negative, but uh, I think he tested too early, so it went through the Thompson, the Thompson family here in Grayville. Yes, the percentage numbers probably really jumped up. Oh, you pre-ordered? Yeah. Yeah, I, hope, I mean, hopefully. I'm hoping that ours is coming from um, Indianapolis. That's where our the shipment's at right now. So hopefully there's no snow going to be impacted. And Luckily, it's not coming from the south because if it was, the ice. I'm not sure if it would, would make it here tomorrow or not. But we've got one... One case already here um, due to the weather. Uh, one distributor likes to get it out and there's impacted of weather, so that's always nice. Um, but everything looks a okay for the, the shipments coming in tomorrow. So We're gonna have we're gonna have some uh, personals available of uh, series one hobby that arrive tomorrow. We are gonna have some of those. We're not gonna do a hobby. We was gonna do a hobby case break, but I just dislike the hobby case of going through it. And hey, out of ten, Donovan Mitchell, courtside. There we go. Donovan Mitchell leading, uh, last time I checked, they were first place in the West. Not sure if they're first place in the whole NBA with the best record or not, but 7 of 10, Donovan Mitchell, Spider Mitchell. Uh, yeah, they got the million card rip party, special invite. So they're able to rip and, uh, 
a day early. So maybe one day we'll be there. Some of the some of the breakers that were in that list I hadn't heard of. Probably because the majority are not focused on on the, on the Facebook side. The majority of the um, ones on Facebook I've heard of. John Morant. More spark. More plugs. Um, I didn't see a numbered bulls. Oh, Justin, you tell me. Tweet at Tops and ask them. Tweet at Tops and ask them. Especially after not hearing back from Tops about the, the whole situation when it comes to uh, the debacle of uh, of the uh, draft. Never heard back from them. Doesn't surprise me. With uh, everything going on, Cassius Stanley, Tyrese Maxey, and Desmond Bain. Of course they would. Buffalo Braves, Bob McAdoo. See who Bob McAdoo paid, played for. Not ringing a bell. Buffalo Braves out of six ninety nine. Legends of the game. Yeah, they're probably mad about us. Mad about that. When we stepped up bigger than they did. Uh, Rome, average one rookie per box on what? Donovan Mitchell, high voltage. It's a cool looking car. I think I said that on the last high voltage that we had. Yeah, two cases. That is correct, Justin. Two cases. Two cases. Jameis Wiseman. Now we're getting a few top three, top four draft picks. Uh, one. We've hit two. Or have we only hit one? Yeah, we've hit two Lamellos. This is our second box, so yeah. So yeah, that's what it's factoring out right now. Jaden McDaniels, Vernon Carey Jr. Prime Twine, Pascal Sikkim. And Anthony Edwards on the We Got Next. There we go. Number one overall pick of the Minnesota Timberwolves. Legends of the Ball. Bill Russell for the Celtics. Tom Spellman. Lon Hayes, and for the auto, another one going out to the Hawks, Onika 
a Kwangu, maybe? Not 100% sure. Not 100% sure on how to pronounce his name. Sixth overall draft pick, so that's a nice hit. Going to be non-numbered, but a nice hit there for the Hawks. The Hawks going out to Chad Collier. So that's his second hit of the night. Second Hawks hit of the night. So Chad, welcome to the group. Legends of the game, Trey Young, another Atlanta Hawks, out of nine ninety nine, going out to Chad Collier. There we go. Should still be one more auto here. One more auto. We got Jason Tatum, high voltage. Those are really nice, really nice inserts. Are you kidding me? To the Atlanta Hawks, Skyler Mays. Skyler Mays going out to Chad Collier, their third hit. Their third hit. Wow, wow, wow. Skyler Mays. Devin Booker on the City Edition. All right. Three to go. Three to go. Matter of fact, no, it did not. No, it did not. <laughs> Price is right. I love that show when I was uh, a kid, but uh, 
Haven't watched it. I really haven't watched it since Bob Barker retired. And, you know, it's kind of like I was uh, a, a fan of it with Bob. And not that I don't like Drew Carey. It's nothing against him. It's just, uh, I guess you could say a traditionalist where you like to like to have things uh, how they always were. Or maybe meant to be. Kind of like, you know, with Jeopardy. It's not the same. I'm not saying that it. There's always a bad thing on the change, but uh, it's just not the not the same, I guess. It's the best way for me to describe it. Yeah, yeah, I would agree. I would agree. Prime Twine, Jason Tatum. Patrick Williams. I mainly watch uh, Andy Griffin's show. I I really enjoy I enjoy that. High voltage Devin Booker. I tried to put it on the when Brandon had that pull up about what series he needed to watch. I don't think it gained much traction. I got my kids watching it. They sometimes get mad and say, oh man, dad's watching Andy Griffin again. Going out to the Denver Nuggets, R.J. Hampton. There we go. R.J. Hampton to the Nuggets. Let's see here. I believe that, is that Justin Wood? It is Justin Wood. So there you go, Justin Wood, R.J. Hampton. Uh, what, 24th overall draft pick, originally drafted by the Milwaukee Bucks, traded to the Denver Nuggets. So there we go. City edition, Victor Olandipo no longer plays for the Pacers. And we got Jason Tatum on the court side. Yeah. Autos are going up north. Zion. The first Zion that I've noticed. Oh, we got Ben Simmons, future legends of the game. It's going to be out of $9.99 for the 76ers. Anthony Edwards. Oh, getting some nice, some nice rookies. Mellow ball on the now plane. Charles Barkley on the tribute. Yeah, Rome has caused the Canadian invasion. Rome has caused the Canadian invasion. Lamelo ball. Our third one of him. Yeah, the, the series one. Derek White for the Spurs and Raul Perez. Out of 199. Uh, series one, man, it filled, filled extremely quick, which is nice, extremely quick. Uh, 
uh, for sure, Rome, on the grading of the rookies. We got Joe Dumars, Legends of the Game, out of six ninety nine for the Pistons. If you are new to our breaks, make sure to send me a private message with your email address and your shipping address, as these will go out tomorrow. Um, tracking will be automatically sent to you via email. So make sure to send me your address. And an email address. If you paid PayPal goods and services, then you are fine. We got Shaquille O'Neal, Legends of the Ball. That's a nice looking card, too. Shaquille O'Neal. And are you kidding me? Oh, the Atlanta Hawks, the rich get richer here. John Collins going out to the Hawks, and it's almost unfair. Chad Collier. So Chad, make sure to send me your address for sure. We got Rudy Gay for the Spurs, going to be out of 99. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Tyrese Halliburton for the Kings on the now playing Tyrese Halliburton. No, uh, hit the knot. Gosh dang it. Hypnotize. Can't even pronounce it. Struggling. Insert Anthony Davis, Lakers. Oh, man. James Harden on the backstage pass. Oh, that's a Matt, that is good. I don't care if people pay for, uh, goods and services. It works out better for me if you pay goods and services. Um... I haven't found out a way to only accept goods and services. Uh, I'm sure that there is a way on on um, PayPal to only accept goods and services, but I haven't been able to figure it out. Um, now, I honestly will say I haven't looked into it all that much. Um, but that would be the preferred way to paint. Um, but I'm not going to sit here and say you must pay goods and services. Isn't it cheaper, Justin, for you Canadians to actually pay goods and services because you're charged a fee for friends and family? Uh, all the rookies are going to be uh, penny sleeved. Every single one of them. Rome. I'm just not sleeving all the rookies on the video. I've got a big stack of all rookies that will be penny sleeved. Not saying I haven't missed any in the, the stack that we will catch as I'm sorting, but yeah. Yeah, so you, yeah, it, Justin, it's, yeah. Justin, that's no problem, and don't feel dumb. Don't feel dumb.
We do have quite a bit of Canadians now. Remember, Canadians, yeah, I tried to, I messaged all the ones that were in our my breaks or Doug's breaks. Uh, we have changed our shipping habits for Canadians where we're shipping once a week because um, the USPS had raised the, the price um, consider, considerably. I mean, $2 a package um, for up to 8 ounces. So we have sh started shipping uh, every Friday um, for the Canadians. I don't believe there's any Canadians in here that didn't know that. Yeah, that they do. Rome had mentioned something in the admin group chat about uh, making it where the Canadians paid goods and services due to uh, the cost difference, and that's what made me uh, remember about the, the fees. <laughs> Rome. Just for the Canadians, right? Uh, we got Kara Lewis Jr. For the Pelicans. The Pelicans are going to be going out to Adam Breyer. So there you go, Adam. For the Pelicans, let's see. 13th overall draft pick. Not a bad hit there. Hoping to hit some numbered autos here, but that's not numbered either that I can see. We've got um, we've got a lot more a lot more series one coming. LeBron James City Edition. So there we go. We'll top load this LeBron James. Got a lot more Series 1 coming. Um, I'll probably place an order for a few more cases tomorrow. Because like I told Doug, I think we did, uh, I want to say like 8 cases last year. so 5 to 8. So we should be at the 10 to 12 mark if you're looking to continue to grow. So we, we should have uh, some more cases coming in. Hopefully the the cases will be loaded. Hopefully the cases will be loaded. Anthony Davis, All Star winner on the highlight for the Lakers. That's what I always try to tell people when I was throwing up uh, freebies for inviting people to the group. Uh, once we get big enough, we're going to have plenty of opportunity to gather your team. Um, because I mean, we can get the we can get the product. The product is not the issue on new releases. The product is not the issue on new releases. High voltage, Jimmy Butler for the Heat. High voltage, Jimmy Butler for the Heat. Patrick Williams. Skylar Mays. And we got Legends of the Ball, Sean Kemp. Sonic, Supersonics going out to the Thunder. Sean Kemp for the Seattle Supersonics. Uh, Justin, yeah, if you want to take care of that, that's fine. Add it to, you won't be able to add it to the... Uh, rules but you can add a post to the to the marketplace that'll be fine here's a nice one back in the day 
Isaiah Ryder for the T Wolves going out to, I believe, Chris Stathopoulos. It is Chris Stathopoulos with a nice Isaiah Ryder. All right. Going up on a card stand. I always liked Isaiah Ryder. Let's see. Can you see it? Oh, yeah. You can see Isaiah. Let's scoot him over a little bit here. Isaiah Ryder. Paul George on the zero gravity. And we got Chris Paul going to be out of 25 for the OKC Thunder. That's going to be going out to Cole Garland. It's not an auto, but it is an out of 25. So not bad Cole Garland for his first break here at On Fire Breakers that I know of. Um, I haven't seen him in any baseball, but I haven't been paying attention over the course of the last uh, week either. So, Daniel Oturu. Not sure if that's how you pronounce it or not. Cole Anthony. And out of 199, future legends of the game, Jason Tatum. First day in the group. So there you go, Cole. There you go. As I stated in the precursor of the video, we haven't done very much basketball, but we've had an influx of people that's been putting basketball teams down on their favorite teams. So on who they like to buy in breaks. So it's time to, to start, and I believe we had like 20 different people jump in on this one. Um, we're not going to be seeing full case breaks of basketball here uh, for a little bit, but still, um, if we can get some decent decent stuff going. Trey Young on the tribute for the Hawks. It's a nice card looking card there. Cassius Winston and Trey Jones, which Doug's going to have to to do some studying on NBA players as well. Malachi Flynn and Daniel Oturo, or Oturu. Al Horford out of 199 for the 76ers. 76ers going out to Chris Stathopoulos. Al Horford. We got another little mellow ball. Kevin Mara on the Hornets win. He hasn't been rewarded with a, an auto, but uh, rewarded with some, some base for right now. Still got a little bit of a ways to go. Jalen Smith and Denny, can't pronounce the last name, RJ Hampton, and Nick Richards. And on the Legends of the Game, Rick Barry, going to be going out to the Golden State Warriors and Eric Weinberg. Yeah. Yeah, I tend to agree. Tend to agree. Rick Barry out of six ninety nine. All right, down to our final box.
final box. For the baseball breaks tomorrow, it looks like Doug's starting at noon. He wanted to do his first. I told him that's no problem. So he's going to start off at noon. And then mine will be do, uh, to be determined. I'm going to have to see about... Uh, our, the kids have no school tomorrow. Um, Learning day for snow. So I have to see if... Uh, and get someone to watch them for me to start a little bit earlier before my wife gets off because we're going to have a long, long day of sorting. That is for sure. To be able to get these out next day, uh, which is what we pride ourselves on here at On Firebreakers. As you know, we ship every day, um, except for now for Canadians. Uh, we ship every Friday for them. But we ship every day um, to get the cardboard into your hands faster. Um, as the, the market goes up and down, which the majority of the time right now it's been going up, up, up. Um, gets them into your hands quicker as far as a resale point. If you're looking to resell. Or to capitalize on the worth of your hits. I hope... We need some last box, ma last box magic. That is for sure. I mean, kind of a dud. Few boxes, not a single numbered auto that I've seen. So let's change that up here. Let's change that. Here we go. If you have not hit, good luck. Let's see if we can't pull something something good here. We got Chris Paul on the City Edition. Desmond Bain and Cassius Stanley. Jimmy Butler, City Edition. Jimmy Butler. City Edition. Uh, Justin, you can't. You can't. Ray Allen, Legends of the Game, Seattle Supersonics going out to the Oakland, or Oakland, the Oklahoma City Thunder, going to be Cole Garland. Patrick Williams, Cole Anthony. Steph Curry on the tribute. Anthony Edwards for the T Wolves. Yeah, no kidding. No kidding, Justin. <laughs> Aaron Gordon, zero, zero gravity. Here, let me put this in a sleeve for Rome. Just for you, Rome. Just for you, buddy. Live on camera. Anthony Davis, Prime Twine. Let 
LaMelo Ball. So we did get one per box. One per box thus far. High Voltage, Joel Embiid. Isaiah Stewart. Oh, we have a redemption. That'll be saved for last. John Morant. Backstage pass. Anybody know who uh, redemptions are in this? Well, there we go. Have a redemption. Those are normally nice, so we'll see. Let's see what it could possibly be. Future Legends of the Game, De'Aaron Fox for the Sacramento Kings. Out of $9.99, going to be going out to Jason Perovich. Well, Jazz are in a tough matchup with the Celtics tonight. What, I think it said 48-47 uh, at half. 48, 47 at half. If you know of any any basketball people that may be interested in the in card breaks, feel free to invite. Uh, always looking for more. David Robinson, the Admiral on the Legends of the Ball. Going out to Raul Perez. got Jameis Winston, or not Jameis Winston, James Wiseman. Huh. Anthony Edwards on the We Got Next. Devin Vassell on the We Got Next. LeBron James on the hypno Hypnotized. Don't know why I'm struggling with that word tonight. Second time struggling. And Kai Bowman, Kai Bowman, going to be going out to the Golden State Warriors and Eric Weinberg. LaMelo is a redemption, really. So Kai Bowman to the Golden State Warriors and Eric Weinberg. So there you go, Eric. So now the pressure is on if LaMelo is in re redemption. City edition of Donovan Mitchell, and here we go. Where is there? It is. Oh boy, who's shaking? Is Kevin Mara shaking? All right, basketball. That's always a good sign. Unlike uh, one in the years prior that said baseball. Twenty twenty. Panini Hoops, Hoops Art Signatures, 
Card number 10. Oh, what a duel! James Wiseman and LaMelo Ball. Look at that. Hoops Art Signatures. James Wiseman and LaMelo Ball. Oh, my gosh. Hoops Art Signatures. Duel. Look at that. James Wiseman, LaMelo Ball. Oh, so what a predicament that we are in here. We've got Kevin Mara with the Hornets and Eric Weinberg with the Warriors. I'm going to create a group chat between uh, you two and me. And uh, we'll see if you guys can come to an agreement. Uh, if you cannot come to an agreement, uh, and I hate to do, I mean, you can both agree to sell the card uh, and split, split it. Um, you can run a random. It's a big card to be running a random. Um, a random just does not uh, seem just does not seem right to do a random on that. Um, and, and, and then if you have any other suggestions, uh, we can do that too. I mean. Um, I know some groups you can buy, you know, if you can come to an agreement, that's fine. Um, let's see, arts, hoops, art signatures. Let's see if we can see if that's numbered. I don't know if it is or not. Oh, I know. I, I know. Who said that? Justin, I, I know. Oh, where's the autographs? Okay, hoops, art signature set checklist yeah. card number 10 doesn't say fight 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 yes doesn't say just says 10 cards doesn't say if it's numbered what the numbers are out of but only 10 cards in the hoop hoops art signature set checklist so got the james wiseman and lamello ball wow 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 so let's go over our hits that was a way to end the break it had been kind of lackluster, to say the least. But here we go. We got Kai Bowman for the Warriors. John Collins for the Hawks. You'll be seeing the Hawks quite a bit. RJ Hampton, rookie Inc. for the Denver Nuggets. And we got Skylar Mays for the Atlanta Hawks. Uh, let's see. Malachi Flynn for the Toronto Raptors going up north. The Matt Medor. Oniqua Okongwu going out to the Atlanta Hawks and Chad Collier. Uh, going out to Adam Breyer. Kira Lewis Jr. Uh, yeah, I'll take a picture and welcome myself back. You better believe it. DeAndre Hunter for the Atlanta Hawks. DeAndre Hunter for the Atlanta Hawks. And we got for the T-Wolves, one of my favorite older players, Isaiah Ryder. And for the fire truck here tonight, it was the very last card on the Redemption Hoops Art Signatures. Dual signature, James Wiseman and LaMelo Ball. So congratulations to everyone that hit. Eric and Kevin, I'm going to be creating a group. As soon as we get done here, I'm going to create the group, take a picture of it, and... Try to work out what we want to do. Like I said, it's an awful big card to leave it to a random. So, there it is. There's the bad boy, James Wiseman and LaMelo Ball. So, congratulations to everyone that hit. If you did not hit, I apologize. I do appreciate you jumping in, filling this basketball break here at On Firebreakers. As always, if you know of anybody interested in card breaks, feel free to invite the more the merrier. Let's fill up some more basketball because you can get hits like this. It's a prime example. Yes, the the granted, they were both expensive, but uh, these are the cards that you can hit. Uh, we've hit some pretty big cards. We pulled that Zion out of 10 RPA um, out of Obsidian. So we have hit some big cards and, and no more of the basketball that we have done. So feel free to invite. Feel free 
to check out check us out if you're watching us elsewhere other than in our facebook group check us out on firebreakers facebook um on firebreakers on youtube give us a subscribe um check out on firebreakers.com um we have some things on there just not uh, not a lot so i do appreciate it thank you for supporting on firebreakers glad to be back here tonight i'll be back here tomorrow night with some 2021 top series one firehands thompson made his comeback here tonight and what a comeback it was it was like michael jordan stepping back onto that court after he first retired and went to ba baseball right here james wiseman and lamella ball that it will be the last that you see of it in this video so let's go let's go